Welcome back. Um, etiquette coach Janet Adetu is here to talk about aeroplane etiquette. Now, what's that about? <laughs> Janet? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Good. Yes, airplane etiquette. We'll do quickly. Um, basically, we have so many um, carry-ons here today. How big is your carry-on when you're going on a flight? Some people's carry-ons are huge. They're humongous. And let's not talk about the weight. Um, yeah, but, but airlines are making sure you don't carry humongous yes. carry-ons anymore. Yeah, but, but you see, sometimes you, you really know, it's really the space in the plane cannot fit some of these sizes, not because they don't want you to carry it. Like that but, you one. know, that big one, no, that's don't. my favorite, the white one, but it's massive. And, and of course, it's going to be really heavy. Then again, you can have something as small as this yeah. and have books inside, and it could weigh as much as 12 kilos. You know, <laughs> I make sure my carry on doesn't weigh more than six kilos because I don't want to carry any loads. Yes, the inconvenience, and you can imagine if your um, where your where your boarding is really far, so you have to go upstairs, downstairs, walk around, and dragging that's very inconvenient. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let me kick start. The truth is, we all like flying to an extent. Some of us, it's an ordeal. Some of us, it's a great experience. But for me, really, you know, when you get off a flight, people ask you, um, "How was your flight?" So most times I may say, well, it was good, it was okay, it was great. And why? Because it depends on my comfort level on the flight, regarding how I slept, regarding the food, and even regarding, you know, um, my relationship with the people on the flight or the air hostess. It's an entire experience. And the truth is, whether your flight is for one hour or it's a long haul, it's the same emotions that you give off. And most times when it comes to flights, I have to say, um, you have to get yourself prepared because people's emotions are kicking all over the place. And maybe it's because they were in traffic, uh, heavy traffic that they didn't envisage, and they get to the airport and they think they're about to miss their flight or the counter is about to be closed, or maybe they're not sure whether their flight has been confirmed, so they're rushing to the airport. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe um, somebody has said some words to them that they just didn't like, and before you know it, they rage a storm. So you have so many emotions flying about in the plane, but the truth is you do need to conduct yourself properly. As big as an, an airport is, you don't know who's looking at you and you don't know who's at that airport. So you really need to conduct yourself. And I'll start off by saying, first of all, when it comes to airplane, um, airplane etiquette or traveling, so to say, I would say um, image is important. How is your image like? Now, um, you can dress how you like. But I think for convenience, um, when I see people wearing slippers, flip-flops for that matter, on a flight, I wonder, um, this is a flight, you, anything can happen. You know, um, personally, I always wear trousers whenever I'm traveling, and I tell my daughters the same thing too, for convenience, and because of long distance walking, and you never know. You don't want to be wearing any fancy dress that can fly up. If they tell you you have to run for your dear life, <laughs> You have yeah, to be ready. time for, for, for <laughs> the fanciness. No, mm. I wear trousers. I make sure I'm looking smart. I have a blouse on. I may carry a jacket. Because I remember there was a time where we had to wait for long hours, delayed flight. You can imagine. I just needed to be smart at that time. We had to walk for a very long distance in and outside the airport. And I could imagine myself not wearing trousers. I would have felt so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And I always tell my daughters, too, whenever you're traveling, dress smartly. Better still wear trousers. You, you, you know, you're in a public place, getting up, sitting down, where thousands of people have sat down. You really need to protect yourself when it comes to <laughs> your image. And <laughs> I tell people as well, I don't have a problem with wearing T-shirt and things. But you know what? If you're on a business trip, I think you still need to look a little bit business-like. And you can then step down to business casual. So sometimes you're the chief executive and you're on a flight and you meet some very important person and you're in a t-shirt and jeans now that's comfortable that's all right but then again what's your image saying about you when you're in jeans and a t-shirt especially if you're on a business flight a, a social flight maybe but even at that always carry a jacket that you can easily pop on it steps up your image a little bit more Grooming on the on flights as well is very important that you realize that um, to the best of your ability, carry a little grooming kit with you. You may need to brush your teeth. You may be delayed for several hours. I've sat on a plane for the entire journey of that plane. We didn't move an inch. 
-hmm. and eventually we were asked to get down after six hours of sitting on the plane because of an engine fault we had to go to uh, yes we sat down we were given a meal we were told to watch a movie and at the end of the day we were then asked to still get down from the plane and check into a hotel hello our things are on the, the plane hold. yeah so you need to carry a little purse your grooming kit your toothbrush you know a little lipstick if you if you're a woman something to comb your hair little allowable sizes of cream and perfume have it as, a, as an emergency i always say that checking in is the nightmare okay sometimes you see people fighting at the check-in desk your luggage is too much you're not carrying the right things people are all emotions ra raging all over the place and that's why today as much as you possibly can try and check in online and when you're checking in online even if you don't know how many bags you're going to carry because you're not too sure always state there not too sure yet but get your boarding pass before you get to the airport traffic anything can hold you up get your boarding pass even if you can't print it off at least because you've done it it's in their system you might want to pick it up at the airport but you've checked in